Hi everybody, thank you very much for watching my videos. In this video I will I will do some uh, some dish uh, which is connected to Slovakia or Hungary. It's called Segedin goulash and it basically you need it uh, pork, but you can use any part, any any kind of meat as well. Chicken can be you can do it different as well. Onion, cabbage. Cabbage can be fresh cabbage, or uh, or cabbage that is fermented as well. It can be uh, sauerkraut. It's called as well. Sweet uh, sweet paprika and salt and oil, and that's it. So I put here a little bit of salt to get it soft. And so let's start. This dish is actually amazing as well for the dumplings for the Jordan. It's actually traditional to eat with the dumplings. So I will show you on the end how to serve it. And you can do this goulash as well without meat. So you will take it off the meat and you will just basically sweat it and cook it the cabbage and finish in the same way as the goulash. It's actually tasting the same way and it's perfect combination as well for the for the dumplings so you can eat it as well so we just sweat it now the onion then we add on the meat sweat it and then we get a little bit of sugar and salt and caramelize and on the end we will put the cabbage i will show you if it's the so now we put on add on the meat don't mix it too much just leave it go in we put it on a little bit fennel seeds even more a little bit sugar and let go in so now we are putting in the Sweet paprika. It's actually very nice. Nice color. It's not bad. It's, nice. it's from here, from Madeira. So we we'll leave it a little bit. And then we will put around the capusta, the cabbage. But you don't have to put all of it. It's everything up to you. The measurement of the meat and cabbage should be 50-50. And if you like more cabbage, you can put it more. So I will put maybe half and half I will leave it for some vegetable food, for roasty or for some cabbage soup. So now you can see how many of the cabbage is in there. See what the left. And just sweat it a little bit, and then we put. Normally, you can put stock if you have ready vegetable or meat. I will put just the water. Actually, the water what I have here, it's from mountains. It's not from the tap, so it's natural water. If I put now the water, you see how, how much is it? A little bit vinegar. Because if you like it, normally we use for this goulash, we normally use sour cabbage. So if you don't have it, I will put cider vinegar and just leave it cook it. It will cook themselves. This is a pork, it's nice young pork, so it will be very easy, very fast. It depends about the cabbage how fast it will be. So maybe half an hour. Something like this, it will be cooked. So we call, call, continue cooking. It looks nice, smell nice. It's almost there. Now we are cooking for about maybe 20, 20 minutes, let's say. So the goulash is almost done. So now we need to prepare, sorry, it's almost done. Now we need to prepare for milk, 
cream and a little bit of flour uh, the roux from for for thicken it and making the sauce this is the way as we are doing all the time in past as well in our mom, moms and grandmothers so now we mix everything together and just wait until we'll be thicken it thicken it and thick enough and then we finish with seasoning and if need more and then you can put on the LBM some butter it's up to you to make lighter so as well so it's ready you see the consistency we're just waiting for boiling to bring this to the boil which is already happening see and this is how we eat it still fresh and you can eat actually with a just feed the bread or pasta or rice or potato or even without the meat you can do it the same sauce you know like this so enjoy and stay tuned for more videos thank you very much